Hi, I'm Dev, and welcome to some works in progress. I'm getting ready to start a whole series of new canvases, new paintings for galleries, so I thought I'd show some of the canvases that I have available. And uh, I'm going to start with this little one here. This is a 22 by 30, and you can see that I, I like to paint on taut canvases, and these are a very high quality canvas and high quality stretchers. They're all custom. They're from day-night woodworking. And uh, this particular size is a 22 by 30. It's the same size as a full sheet watercolor. And I'm a watercolorist, so I'm very familiar with laying out compositions on this size. If you wanted to see work uh, on this size, the flower market series that I do is painted on this size. You'll see that the backs of the canvases have Baltic birch on all the corners and the centerpieces. And the crossbars and stretcher frames are all nicely sanded and very smooth, very high quality, and very nice to work with as for the artist, and also very nice in a residential or commercial corporate environment as well. The depth of the canvas are all one and three quarter, which is a beautiful size for hanging on the wall unframed. It gives a really nice profile, but it's also not too deep if someone wants a more elegant look and they want to have it framed in a floater frame or something else. So but th that's a little bit about, about the canvases themselves. These are not gessoed yet, but uh, once they're gessoed, they get up, they get really nice and tight. This particular one here is a very fav favorite size of mine. It's a 40 by 28, and you can see that it has a, has a beautiful proportion, both horizontally and vertically. And this one, this particular one, is one of my favorite sizes. I'm just looking up what is painted on this size, and that's one of my paintings called Spring Runoff. So if you want to look at that, and it's also based on a golden rectangle. So laying out a composition on this is, is really a lovely experience because there's many, many different places where you can have a focal point. And uh, so that, that's partly why I use this particular size. The next largest one here, the easel, and we'll just put it vertically, is a 45 by 26. It's a little bit um, more narrow and long, but it makes a beautiful landscape size. And uh, it's a little larger, so it has more powerful statement if it's in an interior environment. So that's a favorite size of mine as well. The one on the easel here is a beautiful landscape size and residential size, sort of good for over a couch, let's say. It's a 48 by 30, and uh, that makes a, a beautiful vertical as well, quite dramatic. And uh, it's a golden rectangle. And let's see, the next size up would be this one. It's a 36 by 58, and I use that size frequently as well particularly for the Forest Light series. This is one that I'm working on. And it's a French proportion, a European or French proportion. And one of the paintings that's finished that you could look at would be the same beautiful spot. And if you look up that one. A larger size would be this biggie here. That's 44 by 66. And um, I just want to read, there's a couple of that uh, you could look up. One's on my website and sold. It's called Jardin Boisé, and another one's called Spring Runoff. So this is one of the bigger canvases that I work on. I really like to work large. And uh, a couple of other sizes I just want to mention. One is a 46 by 77, and the other is 48 by 60. So I have those in stock all the time, and I work on those. So I, you can see I have a lot of canvases ready, and lots of in inspiration, and... Uh, so I'm hoping to have new work up to the galleries very soon, so stay well, be creative, and uh, work in your studio or in your kitchen, be creative in your kitchen or in your garden.